Why didn't this one win? What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite set review on the brand new WWE Elite Fan Takeover line. I feel like we've been waiting on this one for a little bit. Now you'll also notice that first of all, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is not here. That is because he was unavailable at the time. I will try and get him in later and try to do a short review of that one. So I do apologize, but I'm pretty sure that the figure was pretty much just a re-release of his flashback exclusive Walmart figure that we got a couple years ago, I think, or something like that. But I did grab the other three in the set because they were available. And to be honest with you, I got two out of the four that I really, really wanted, which is Seth Rodham's Seth Rodham's? What the fuck was that? And I guess Adam... Adam... Coleth? I don't I don't know what the hell I just said. But you guys know the other thing about this. The fan takeover vote, right? We, we're going to get into the packaging because it breaks down the fan vote and everything like that. But you guys know that the War Games Adam Cole was one of the choices for the Adam Cole. And we didn't get it, did we? We bitched about it a lot here on the channel, but I had to in the review. You got to talk about it in the review. Here is the results of the poll. Look at this right here. NXT TakeOver War Games 2018. It lost by 2.8%. 2.8%. You're telling me that people actually voted for this gear in this packaging over the War Games gear, over the camo that everyone loved, that everyone wanted to match Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. To be fair, when the fan vote came out, I don't think they had planned to put those in the line just yet. However, we already had Roderick Strong. I know. I know we had Roderick Strong. So why wouldn't you want to match Roderick Strong? Why wouldn't it match Roderick Strong? Why? Why wouldn't you want this? Why? Answer me! Anyways, this is the attire we got, so we gotta build a bridge and get the hell over it. Because I don't make the rules, I just deal with them, apparently. Alright guys, so here we go. Shayna Baszler, Adam Cole, Seth freaking Rollins. Let's turn this one around. On the back of this one, okay, you can... <laughs> I, I, I already ranted about Adam Cole, but this one... I mean, I should have ranted more. If this was not a WrestleMania attire, it wouldn't have won. I can tell you that right now. If this wasn't when he won the championship from Brock Lesnar, nobody would have voted for it. It's the only reason people voted for it. Survivor Series was a much better gear, and SummerSlam was a much better gear. But it's what we got, and we're going to do cool fix-ups, and I love Seth Rollins and all the good stuff, so I would rather have it anyway. I already had a custom of this attire. I already had a custom of actually all three of them, but I would rather have an official Thanos gear. Didn't get that one either, but there is... Seth Rollins in the packaging, WrestleMania 35 gear, and then Shayna Baszler right here. Her attires are pretty much similar, but you got three different versions of NXT back here. Looks like this one barely itched out the vote as well. So all three of them kind of came close in the vote, guys, but this packaging looks great. It kind of reminds me of X-Men or Wolverine with the blue, yellow, and black all going on. I really like it. There's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat right there that we didn't get, but you got images of all the talent from the events, I'm pretty sure, on the opposite side, which looks cool. But I think my rant's over guys i guess we can go ahead finally get into the review and crack all three of these hoes out of the packaging and then we'll get into we'll get into all the good stuff but let's just uh, look at him i want everyone that didn't vote for this to look at what you did Look at it! Alright guys, so for these set reviews, you guys know we don't typically do them the way we usually do them for the two-in-one review. Since there are three figures, I'm not going to sit here forever and dive deep, deep into it. But I am going to let you guys know about everything about the figure. Show them off, show off their accessories and all those good things. Let's just go ahead and start off with my man Seth freaking Rollins over here. As far as Seth freaking Rollins is concerned, he doesn't come with a ton of ish. However, he does come with three pairs of interchangeable hands. You have the signature, like, entrance hands. You get his mic holding hands which are just an absolute must and you also get his fisted hands so he's one of those superstars that they get fists mic holding and entrance hands with so that is absolutely epic right there here's the Seth Rollins figure he also comes with his entrance vest wasn't my favorite attire I didn't hate the attire it just wasn't anything that was just over the top immaculate I also feel like some of the the stuff on the chest may be a little bit misshapen like I feel like these top two may be a little bit too high not the biggest deal I just maybe would squeeze these down a little 
bit or something like that. On the back, you get the design as well, so it continues on the back. I almost feel like this gold color is a little bit too bronzy. I feel like they combined gold and bronze. It still looks good and everything. I just feel like maybe it could be a little bit lighter or something like that. One thing that bothers me about this figure, it is the re-release head sculpt, which really doesn't bother me. I would have liked to seen a new one, but this line is more of like re-released, like re-released repaints pretty much is what we're getting in this line. And you'll find that's pretty much what all these figures are, are just repaints of other elites. Nothing too new going on with it. But on this gauntlet, you'll notice that he has his gold SR and that, you know, he has the gauntlet on there. And then on this arm, he has black wrist tape. I know we covered this in a video when we talked about the problems with upcoming WWE figures, but I'm not entirely sure why they did that. I looked at some, you know, like the PNG images, like the photo images where they, you know, they do the gallery shots where they stand and they, you know, pose around, do their photo ops and stuff. I'm pretty sure he had the gold one on, so I'm not sure what happened right here. I hope that maybe, I don't know how we're ever going to fix this, to be honest with you. The only way you could fix it, or the only way I could fix it, is to put on my custom elite arms on here, but I really don't want to do that. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess you could get a decal and paint, but that's really annoying that you'd have to do that. But you know, it is what it is. Here are the tights, black and gold tights. Like I said, same designs going down. I feel like this SR is a little bit wonky. Don't feel like it sits in the middle all the way. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be in the middle. Like, like the tilt is fine, but I think it's supposed to be tilted in the middle, not tilted so far outside, but it's not the biggest deal or anything like that. You also get his signature kick pads, which do cut off because the designs continue very much like his Elite 75 figure in the Chicago Bears attire. This reminds me a lot of his cash-in figure. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. We will do a little comparison shot, and it's pretty much like his top talents figure, except repainted in gold, which we'll also get into, but there's the Seth Rollins, same head sculpt and everything like that. I love Seth Rollins, and I'll probably grab a few of this figure to do customization and fix-ups and stuff like you guys know, so that'll be fun to do, but outside of that, that is our Rollins figure. Now, moving on with Adam Cole. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you guys already know the deal on this. I am going to remove his shirt right quick because we need to take a look at this shirt. It is a rubber sleeveless shirt, which is what it is. I think his last Elite did come with a cloth shirt, so, you know, it is what it is. But he does come with his gold, baby, gold, and then it's got the Undisputed Era logo. It's got the Undisputed Era logo back here. It clasps in the middle. You guys know how the rubber t-shirts work. If you don't, you won't like them, I promise. Next up, you do get the NXT Championship. We've seen this championship a bunch, but I think, I want to say this has better, like, I don't know, it just seems shinier than other NXT Championships. I could be tripping, though. We also get Mike holding hands, which are absolutely fantastic. We get the Adam Cole baby hands, where he puts his hands up and says, Adam Cole, baby. And then we also get Undisputed Era hands, which do not cross in the front because of his single jointed arms, but it is still cool, nonetheless, to have our Undisputed Era hands where you can cross them. I'm still waiting on people to do, like, I, I want to say I've seen somebody do it, but I want to get somebody to get a bunch of Ultimate Editions and then customize and make all four members of Undisputed Era with the Undisputed Era hands and have them all cross on the front and do a photo op. I think that would be badassery. But now let's get into this figure that all of us are just sickened by. He also comes with his Undisputed Era uh, armband right there, if you guys were wondering. It feels like it's a different rubber than in the past, too. I feel like they changed it. They changed it in some way. I feel, I think the last one was like kind of shiny and had like a gold paint like this on it, like the, the Seth Rollins, not this yellow, more accurate. But this is the same head sculpt that we got on his Elite 71 figure. We are going to do some comparisons. I forgot to do comparisons with Seth Rollins, so we'll run that back real quick. But he's got white wrist tape. He does have his tattoo. I don't hate this attire, guys. I don't hate this attire. I actually think it's quite badass. I just think the the, the camo would have been better. Like the baby right here, it reminds me of Marilyn with the black, yellow, and red. Really like what we got going on here. The red stripes looks good and everything. Like it is a very clean attire, and I do need to switch up these legs because they always give him baby legs. That was a pun. Did you guys get it? He's got the big knee pads, Undisputed Era boots on there. I do want to switch out his legs. His waist is kind of loosey-goosey too. Not really feeling. I'm gonna have to fix that. But I am gonna switch out his legs with William Regal legs or Bo Dallas legs because I like those legs better for my Adam Coles. I just feel like this is too small. I, I don't know. I like he's not a big guy or anything, but I still I still feel like I want to switch that out. So there's Adam Cole. It's not the War Games gear, but it is what it is. If you guys wanted to do a little uh, comparison shot between this and his other figures, of course, here is the figure that we got, and here's the figure we probably should have gotten with the War Games gear. This is a Kyle O'Reilly made into an Adam Cole based off of his Elite, and yeah, that's what we got going on there for Adam Cole and what we should have gotten. And then if you wanted to compare it to his other figures that we've gotten of Adam Cole, here's the repaint version. So basically, here's Elite 71. You guys can see this is pretty much a repaint. It's just the, you know, it's the same exact figure except white wrist tape and different trunks, same head sculpt, same arms, same everything like that. So 
So there's the difference in the Elise 71. And then we do have the first version, which does have a fix up on it, which, you know, it is what it is. But see, this is this is the legs I put on it. See, it doesn't make him too tall. It barely makes it makes him slightly taller, but it just does all the I don't know. It just makes it look better to me. Like these don't look natural. This looks natural to me. You guys can let me know. He's barely taller. And this is his first figure, the epic moments one that I absolutely love. I need to get another one of these head sculpts and put it over here because I, I, I typically make this interchangeable. That way I can pop it off and then put this on for entrances and stuff like that. But there's your comparison for Adam Cole. And then for your Seth Rollins figure comparisons, here is the top talents elite Seth Rollins. You guys can see the vest is pretty much reprinted and then the trunks design is basically the same. Like look at all the different details down here on the kick pad. It's all the same except it's repainted instead of yellow. It is gold and they actually, this was rounded on this attire. This is more of a spiky look and you might could make his Survivor Series gear or that white and gold gear. I'll see if I can find an image of it. He wore it like one event or a couple times on Monday Night Raw where it's literally this attire but the crotch was filled in with white or something. I'll try to find that. I'll probably make that attire if I can, uh, you know, get that figured out and get another one of these in there. But you guys can see the differences and the similarities in these. A little bit different but virtually the same, just repainted. And then for the other Seth Rollins comparison, I do have my custom right here from my boy G Natty. And you guys can see the lines are a little bit thicker. Uh, knee pad is virtually the same. I didn't get the entrance vest made, but you guys can see I got the gold on there. And I do have the Universal Championship on mine because he won the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 35. So there is the, uh, yeah, you know, the little deal there. I'll probably put the Universal Championship on this guy since he did win it at that event. I also have the Beast Slayer t-shirt on there and the older head sculpt, but I got that for my birthday like two years ago or something, or a year ago. I can't remember. Not last year, year before. Does it matter? And then the last Seth Rollins comparison is our Money in the Bank 2018, which is pretty similar to this attire. You guys know the old 2015 gear that he brought back in 2017 or 2018 there when he was defending the Intercontinental Championship. Virtually same-ish and everything like that. You see this gold, the gold they used for the cash in figure I feel like would look better. It's definitely different. This is more of like a yellowish brighter gold. This is more of like a bronzish gold. I feel like this one would look better, but who cares? All good. Still like the figure a lot. And then last but not least, guys, we do have Shayna Baszler who comes with her interchangeable entrance hands. I don't remember her first elite coming with that. She may have. I just don't remember it, but she does have her entrance hands right there with the two fingers like that. We also have interchangeable fists, which are cool. She comes with her little mini towel that she came with last time. And then I can't remember. I want to say this is the first time I doubt it is, but we do have the Women's NXT Championship with the silver actually painted on there instead of not. And again, I could be wrong about that. It just feels like last time or the last few times, it's always been the Men's Championship, but they finally painted it. It may be the second or third time they've done that. I can't remember again, but this one also has double-jointed knees. I think this is the first Shayna Baszler to have the double-jointed knees because they didn't start that till later after that figure, but she also has pinless joints like Bailey, so that uh, is very interesting as well. Attire is black and silver and the cuts through there, a little crown on the butt right there, little butt bone. Got the, what is she, isn't she the queen of spades or, is she called the queen of spades? I think it's the queen of spades. Regardless, you got the silver stuff going on. You got the silver and the spades and the black. Uh, no ankle pivot on this, but the kick pads look all right. They're those basic slash elite kick pads that they always use for the women's figures. Uh, she has her tattoo on there. Same head sculpt that we got with her last figure and everything like that, but I'm not a big Shayna Baszler fan, but I think this is definitely an upgrade to her last figure. Even though the attire may not be as good, it's still a better figure. It's definitely better. It just feels better in the hand. It poses better and stuff like that. It does have double jointed knees, which are a game changer. And yeah, this one, this one definitely chokes this one out, if you get what I'm saying. If you guys want to see her up next to her tag team partner, here is Elite 65 Nia Jax. They are the women's tag team champions. So I am going to throw this on here. So if you guys wanted to see what the women's tag team championship looked like on the Shayna Baszler, there you go. Looks pretty damn good. And it looks good up next to Nia Jax, even though I can't stand either of these ladies in the ring or anything like that. I think, you know, this this looks like them. This looks just like Nia. This looks just like Shayna, and they look great in figure form. So, that is pretty good right there. And I just noticed we have single-jointed Nia. I'm sure we're probably going to get a new Nia Jax here in a couple series, I would I would bet. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for all the figures in this fan takeover wave besides Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which I was unable to obtain. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this full WWE Elite Fan Takeover Wave review. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of this full wave. What do you think of the Rollins and the Cole and the Shayna Baszler? Had to let this figure have it, you know? Had to let this figure have it here today, but overall thoughts on it. Why, while it's not the War Games attire, I still like it. I think the gear is really sick. I do need to fix it up a little bit. Things of that nature, but I think this wave is pretty good. I like it. I don't think, uh, 
I, I think if you enjoy these talents, it's definitely an upgrade for Shayna Baszler. I mean, technically, this may be the best Adam Cole ever released, right? I mean, it doesn't have the better... I, I think the Epic Moments head sculpt is the better head sculpt, but as far as attire goes, I think I like this one better than the previous two. It's got more yellow in it. It does have the red in it, but I still think it's pretty badass gear and everything. The Seth Rollins is solid. Overall, thoughts are pretty solid. I don't know if Ringside is getting this set. If they are, you can use promo code MDTOYS at ringsidecollectiblesrestlingfigures.com to save yourself some money, but if they are not going to Ringside Collectibles, I think you can only get it on Amazon, so not exactly sure, Brad. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see about that. Stay tuned to Amazon for restocks and stuff like that, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the full set down below, and let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Kermit underscore does underscore stuff, who says, this dude's a legend. He posts every day and is still very entertaining. Well, I appreciate that a lot to Kermit does stuff, man. I try to get up with you guys every single day, and the fact that you guys think it's still entertaining is, uh, I appreciate that, man. It means a lot to me, but I appreciate you guys who watch every day. I appreciate you guys who watch every once in a while, but anybody who watches every day, guys, you are actual legends. If I'm a legend, you guys are legends for watching every day, but I really appreciate that comment. It meant a lot to me. Huge shout out to Kermit does stuff for that comment. But anyways, guys, I am getting the hell out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Kermit, and uh, yeah. Adam Cole Fan Takeover Elite from NXT March 20th, 2019 exists. You crossed the line.